How to use Split View in Safari in iOS 10. Now, if you have an eligible iPad running iOS 10, you can take advantage of Split View in Safari. There are many ways to invoke it. You can tap and hold on a link and then select Open in Split View. And that way it'll open up a brand new Safari window side by side. So it's basically its own standalone Safari window side by side. It's got its own address bar, its own bookmark bar, its own share, share button, its own tabs, etc. But that's not the only way to invoke Split View in Safari. You can also tap and hold on a tab and then drag it to the left or to the right side of the Safari browser. So let me show you right now. So just take and drag that tab, drag it to the right, or if I want to, I can drag it to the left depending on where I want the window to be and I can release and as you can see, it gives me two Safari windows side by side. Now, there is another way to invoke Safari split view. And the first thing we're gonna do is just close out of this tab here so that it goes back to just one window. And now I can use Command N on my hardware keyboard to invoke Safari split view. Now there is another way to invoke Safari split view. So let's close this tab out again. Now all you need to do is just tap and hold on the tab button in the upper right hand corner like this. Tap and hold and then select open split view. And there you go, two side by side Safari windows. Now what happens if you're in split view and then you invoke split view by dragging from the right side of your screen? Well, as you can see, basically what happens is that the rightmost browser window is hidden until you exit out of split view, just like that. So you still have your tabs there and everything that was in that window will still be there once you re-enable Safari split view. Now, what happens if you go into portrait mode? Well, same principle. It just goes and displays one single window, the leftmost window, and then when you go back into landscape mode, then the Safari split view comes back and everything's still there. Now, what if you have one private window and then one normal window? What happens when you try to drag a tab over? Well, you can't. You cannot drag tabs between private and normal windows and vice versa. Now, what you can do is you can send a link over and that link will appear in whatever view that you're currently in. So if you're in private mode on the, on the side that you're sending the link to, then that link's gonna open up in private mode and vice versa. Now, if you have two private windows open, you can drag tabs between those two because they're both private windows, right? Now, let me show you how to merge tabs from both windows. So I'm gonna open up a bunch of tabs here, a bunch of tabs here. Now, if I tap and hold on the tab button on either window and tap merge all tabs, then both windows will be combined together with all the tabs from both windows. Pretty simple, straightforward to the point. Now, I can also go back into split view like that. But as you can see, all the tabs are contained within one particular browser window while the other one is just blank. So ladies and gentlemen, that is how you use Split View in iOS 10 on eligible iPads. Let me know what you think in the comment section. This is Jeff with 9to5Mac.